Addressing Parliament yesterday, UNP parliamentarian Harsha De Silva shared these thoughts on television broadcast technology. As Ekulahe Raja Tirna Karaganatino. In 2011, the then Secretary to the Ministry of Mass Media, Ganegal, stated that a decision was reached to introduce the DVBT2 technology to Sri Lanka by 2015 and that all television channels should make the switch from analog to digital by 2015. They spent a sum of 70 million rupees on the Cokerville Tower and when it was declared open, the President said that we would be migrating to the DVBT2 technology. A national roadmap team was set up consisting of individuals from the TRC, Ministry of Defence, the Morotua University, SLRC, ITN, EAP Network, MTV Channels and Dialogue Television. A roadmap was created. I would like to submit this to Parliament. It is clearly stated in this report that the technology selected was DVBT2. This technology was introduced by the European Union. 134 countries have currently tied up with this technology. Some institutions have already invested in this equipment with cabinet approval in order to make the transition in 2015. Then all of a sudden, after the arrival of the Japanese Prime Minister, they announced that they have plans to switch to the ISDBT technology, which is based in Japan. It was stated in the papers that this will be introduced through a 13 billion yen loan. Was this debated broadly? Did you seek professional opinions? Was it discussed with them? Then why did the government change the technology that they had earlier agreed to? This should not be politicized. Yes, Japan has aided us, but we must see which technology better aids us to develop the country.